This video tutorial explains how to add teams and register your players into your netball centre competition. Every club and school will have an area on Sporty to complete their registrations. In this example it's ABC Netball Club. And the link to my area I go to is sporty.co.nz forward slash ABC Netball. You will also be provided with login details. If you are unsure of either your login details or the area on Sporty to complete your registrations, please contact your Netball Centre or email support at sportsground.com. So to get started, scroll to the bottom of the page and click the admin login link. Enter your username and password and click login. There are three steps to the process. The first is to add your team into the competition. To do this, click into the dashboard and click onto the tile called Team Builder. There will be a form called Netball Registration. Click into that. And this will take you into Team Builder. On the right hand side of the screen are the grades that are designated by your Netball Centre. So to add your teams into the competition, find the grade that you need to add your teams into and click Add Team. Give your team a name and simply add team and save and close. If you have teams in multiple competition at uh, multiple grades, just click add team against those grades. And that's all there is to it. So the next step is to register your players. So to do this, we will go out of Team Builder, back into the dashboard and go into the area called Online Registrations. In here there will be a folder of 2021, a folder called Netball, and you'll see the Netball Registration form. So to get your players to register, you can simply click on a link and copy this link. And this is a direct link to your form. So you can email that to your players or post it on your Facebook page and when you do and they click on the link they will be taken directly to your form. So I'm just going to complete the form as if I am the person registering. Once I do that, I will be sent an email, confirmation email with the details that I've completed. The third step is to go into the dashboard, back into Team Builder, into the Netball Registration form, and on the right hand side we'll see the teams that we've added, and on the left hand side will be the players as they start to register. So you simply drag and drop your players into the team. When you do that, you'll see the uh, team changes into green and you can see the players in the team and it shows what people on what team. And that's all you need to do to add your players and your team into the netball competition. There are some advanced things that you can do. As a for example, I will go back into the dashboard and into the online registrations area. So once people start to register, you actually can click on the name of the form and it shows their details as they appear here. And then you can actually click into someone's record and edit their details if you need to update their details. If you are logged in as the administrator, you actually can add your members directly by clicking on the Add New button here, and you can enter their details. We recommend that you don't do this, um, as it is very easy to send a link to people to complete their details. Also, your Netball Centre may require 
you to accept terms and conditions and you would be doing that on behalf of your players. So as the club or school, you have the ability to go and add your own fields onto the registration form if you want to capture additional information. So to do that, you can click the pencil icon to edit the form. You'll see at the form, top of the form there are some fields that you are unable to change and these are the fields that are set by your netball centre. But you can come here if you want to, add section and you can add questions. As a, for example, and there are different responses you can add to your questions if you want to. For example, so you can add as many fields if you want to onto the bottom of the registration form. You do also have the option to accept payments if you wanted to enable sports pay. So what I've just done is added a field onto the bottom of my registration form. If I now copied a link to my form and went and had a look at the form that I had amended, if you scroll to the bottom, there's an additional question that I've added. So when someone completes the form, any information that's added onto your questions you've added to the bottom of the form do not get passed to the Netball Centre, but are just recorded in your database. So on each Netball Centre site, there should be a page in relation to the registration process that includes a link to the Quick Start User Guide, which is this Quick Start User Guide here, and also a more detailed link to our admin user guide. This explains many of the additional things that you are able to do, including adding fields to your form if you want to accept online payments. So this is a fuller user guide here. If you have any queries at all in relation to the registration process, you can email our support team directly on support at sportsground.com. Back on your site here, when you are logged in, there is also an area here called technical support, and when you click on that, that goes through to our sporty support area, where you can search for support articles, or you can click submit a request, and that will send an email to our support team. Thank you.